rising y'all welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're new subscribe it is currently 10 40 and i had a prenatal appointment at 10 40 so i'm about to go hop my ass in the shower really quick and then i'll come back when i have my clothes on already and then we're gonna do my hair and then skedaddle okay y'all we is out the shower i'm about to just slip my hair back into a bun really quick if you hear a acha acha eh, that's my coco yo that's my coco I'm running late, child. We're gonna go with my Eco Styler and just slap that bitch on there. I'm curious what they're gonna say when I go to the doctor's office because I'm supposed to be getting my like bacterial test back and it's to tell me if I'm gonna have to take antibiotics um, when I'm like in labor because I failed the test when I had cocoa. Feeling it isn't bad. It's normal for you to have it in adults. It's just not good for the baby when they when you give birth to them. So I'm curious to see. I'm I'm probably gonna feel it again to be honest. If I failed it with cocoa, I'm probably gonna feel it with with um Yaya. Two ponytails. We're just gonna put this bitch back. Oh. And a little bun like that. I'm gonna take my. Marley here, wrap that bitch around. Cause I just like the way these ponytails look better. <laughs> Boom, just like that. Yeah, and I'll fix it in the car if I have to, which I don't think I will cause that looks perfectly fine to me. And in my little mirror, that looks fine. I don't know how it looks in the back, child, but I'll fix it later. And then let me just do my little edges real quick. Bun on. Edges done. And then I'm going to put on this, what is this? Coco Shea Rich Moisture from Bath & Body Works as like my lotion. So it's not giving ashy. Oh, this smells really good. <clears throat> My best friend just gave me like a little mother's basket. Like a mother's care basket. And she added this in here and this smells really good. Put some on my legs. Oh shit. I be forgetting my balance is all because I'm pregnant. And I be trying to do shit fast and I be like toppling over. And then I'm going to throw on this um, coconut perfumist also from Bath and Body Works. This is another thing that she got me. It smells so good. I already washed up and shit, so I'm about to just throw on some Carmax. And then I'm gonna go in with my pout bomb from Makeup Revolution just to add some color to my lips because I did not even do my eyebrows, so. And we're out of here. So I'll check in with y'all either when I'm in the doctor's office or when I come out of the doctor's office. So. Hello. So tell me why. She got an attitude because she wanted to try to rip a snack out of another girl's hand when she was trying to share with her. So she had to go to the car. It's damn near 12 o'clock and the nurse is telling me, oh, can you come back at 1? Because the nurse was supposed to see her. It was already on lunch. Your appointment was at 1040. Okay. And I got there at like 1055. I was sitting there for an hour. So apparently the lady already left. So we about to just see if we can just pick up some food really quick and get something to eat. And then we're going to come back at 1 so I can hurry up and get this appointment. So... I'll check in with y'all when we at wherever we at to go eat. I don't know what we're going to eat yet, though. <laughs> okay, so hey, y'all. We settled on Dunkin' Donuts. I didn't even know that they had, like, little $6 meals. So I got me a caramel iced coffee, a bacon egg and cheese croissant, and some hash browns. And then, what'd you get, baby? The maple bacon. 
I get mine with American cheese. He gets his with um, white cheddar. And then you can see the baby right there. She got her, her her little hash browns, and then I got her some munchkins. It's 12:46. I'm trying to be in that bitch at like 12:55 because I don't. I want to make sure that the nurse has enough time for her to be able to go to lunch too. Because I that was my fault. I was late. So yeah. We're about to just bust this down real quick so we can hurry up. This is bad good. I was hungry as shit. But yeah. We're about to bust this down. Got this appointment going. And then I'll check in with y'all when I get home because I'm about to start like cleaning and like doing laundry and shit like that. So What's up, y'all? It's way later in the day. It's like, it's currently 8.07. Excuse me. We just got back from Walmart to do a quick little run of the last minute things that we needed for like my, our baby bags and then like little stuff for baby Yaya. Because I found out today the appointment went good. I actually passed my bacterial test. So that means I don't have to take any antibiotics or nothing like that. My iron and my um like blood pressure and all that stuff was perfectly fine. So was the babies. <clears throat> so my midwife told me, well, one of the midwives at the center told me that actually after, because I'm 36 weeks right now, I turned 37 weeks on Saturday. She told me that anytime after 37 weeks, I could do this thing. I think it was called like a membrane scraping, if I'm not mistaken. And it's basically like when they go inside and they push the water sack away from your cervix and it causes irritation in the inside but it's a good irritation and it promotes you to have contractions so well from what she told me the girls that go to her and the other midwife to do it they go into labor within 24 to 48 hours meaning i could have the baby early so i my original due date is october 13th and that's me pushing it at 40 weeks in one day i don't want to wait that long and because i'm already healthy and she's healthy and i could bring her home at any time at this point because she's around like six 6.2 pounds which is fantastic to me um i'm gonna do it at 38 weeks so that i can have her the first week of october instead of the second week of october so i'm actually really really happy but because of that that means we need to get our last minute things together so at walmart i just picked up her um face lotion and her body lotion this johnson and johnson one and then i picked up her body wash and then Oh, I needed to pick up some A&D because nobody had bought it for me. So I just needed to get it myself. So I got some A&D that's going to go in her little basket that I'm going to end up showing y'all probably tomorrow when I um, fix up her little like uh, basket for like her toiletries, basically. That's going to be sitting on top of her three drawer organizer. I got some toothbrushes because me and him both need a travel toothbrushes to be able to put in our bag. And then I picked up these little bottles. I'm going to do one with body wash, one with lotion, one with face wash, and then one with our face scrub so we can have that in there because we are only going to be there for like two days because the day that after you have your baby, you get sent home anyways because y'all fine. So like we we'll really only need a little bit. And then last minute thing that I know I'm definitely going to need for my like postpartum care is witch hazel because I know they give you pads there like witch hazel pads, but when i had cocoa it wasn't enough for me to need it as long as i needed it so i wanted to pick up a whole bottle because i have plenty of um like the overnight huge thick ass pads from when i thought i was going to be having my period in the beginning of the year and i never ended up getting it because i got pregnant so i picked up that and yeah that was it so that was just my little last minute things that i need i am gonna make a video of like what i pack in my baby bag and what i'm packing in my hospital bag for um labor and delivery that'll be a whole other type of video but besides that i think i'm gonna wrap it up for today because my friend actually wanted me to make him a pin of um honey bun brownies that he's gonna be picking up tomorrow and then i gotta start cooking dinner and just like do little dishes and stuff like that and i think i'm gonna end up recording another video tonight of like either my skincare routine or a pregnancy pamper night so yeah that was today it was pretty productive to be honest 
And tomorrow my mama is going to take me and Coco to Walmart because she's going to buy us the baby mattress that goes into our mini crib. And then we're just going to go on a date and go to like the pizzeria and stuff like that. So I will definitely check in with y'all tomorrow. So good night, y'all. Grand rising, y'all. It is currently 11, 12 a.m. My mama just got up in here so that she could pick up me and Coco to go to Walmart and to go to the pizzeria. I'm already dressed and stuff like that. I just have on this little like flannel thing with uh, a bodysuit that I got from Fashion Nova. I'm about to throw on my sneakers and a bag and skedaddle. So I'm probably going to film when I'm at um, Walmart. I'm just literally just getting a mattress and a couple of things. And we finna go to the pizzeria and then just come back home so I could be productive. This morning I was feeling really sick and I ended up throwing up. So I didn't film earlier today. But when I get back home, we're going to start doing our little nesting situation. Um, I want to show y'all some pumping stuff. And yeah, I'll check in with y'all later. Put these back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You let it piece it, girl. This one. You drew it a little bit. No, it was Coco. Back in the crib, y'all. Um, my mama just dropped this off not too long ago. It's like it's 2:42 right now, so that means I still basically have the rest of the day to do whatever cleaning I need to do and stuff like that. They didn't have the mattress that we were looking for there. So my mom said she's just going to buy it off of Amazon. And then when I see her on Sunday, I'll just get it from her. And then tomorrow, I know Echo's going to pick up the crib from his mom's house so that he could build it and stuff like that. And then my best friend's mom is getting us the bassinet that we need. So we basically have all the stuff that we need for Yaya. But I did go ahead and pick up some bottle brushes because I needed these. And then... I picked up these milk bags because I already started pumping a couple like two days ago and I'll show y'all by the end of the night how much I have so far and I'm just gonna freeze them and bring them in my hospital bag like in a cooler like in a lunch bag for when I have her so I could already have milk and I'm also gonna be bringing my pump in there but yeah I'm about to just throw on some comfortable clothes and then we're about to start folding clothes and getting some of Yaya's stuff ready so I'll see y'all in a second in every minute, man, I swear that she can get it Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high Hands up high, hands up high Tell them dim the lights down right now Put me in the mood I'm talking about dark moon perfume Go, go I recognize your fragrance, hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit, uh, and I know you taste this a little bit, mm, high maintenance, uh, everybody else basic, you live life on an everyday basis with poetic justice, poetic justice, if I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it, I mean I write poems in these songs, dedicated to you and... You're in the mood for empathy, it's blood in my pen Better yet with your friends and them I really wanna know you all I really wanna show you off Fuck that, pour up plenty of champagne Cold nights when you curse this name You called up your girlfriends and y'all curled in that little bitty range I heard that she wanna go and party she wanna go and party, nigga don't approach her with that Atari Nigga that ain't good game, homie, sorry They say conversation, rule a nation I can tell, but I could never write my wrongs Lest I write it down for real, P.S.
I really hope you play this Cause oh girl you test my patience With all these seductive photographs And all these one off vacations You've been taking Clearly a lot for me to take it And it don't make sense Young East African girl You too busy fucking with your other man I was trying to put you on game Put you on a plane Take you and your mama to the motherland I could do it Maybe one day When you figure out you're gonna need someone When you figure out it's all right here in the city And you don't run from where we come from That sound like poetic justice Poetic justice You were so new to this life, but goddamn, you got to just it. I mean, I write poems in these songs dedicated to the fun sex. Your natural hair and your soft skin and your big ass and that sundress. Ooh. Good guy, what you doing that walk for? When I see that thing move, I just wish we were fighting less and we would talk more. They say communication, say relations, I can tell. But I can never write my wrongs unless I write them down for real. P.S. You can get it. Turn 
hostage can't be mine. Nah, nah. Crazy how you managed to make me into a sponsor. You got me paying for shit. You got a two day trial for I take back my time and make you pay. Thirty day trial for I made my mind and it's always. Grand Rising, y'all. It is Tuesday, 10.34 a.m. So the last time y'all saw me was, I think, on Friday or Saturday when me and Echo was putting the crib together. I'll show y'all later when I finish, like, cleaning up the room and stuff like that because I still want to mop my floors and shit. How we have the crib and all of Yaya's clothes set up, like, her little station in our room because, respectfully, I like to be able to have my baby in the room with me while they're really really small and then they could start gradually being in their own room and stuff like that but anyways um i wanted to show y'all some pumping stuff because i just finished pumping i got me a good little two ounces or whatever for people who don't oh let me not say for people for women who don't know you can actually start pumping before you have your baby make sure you're not doing it prematurely because it could induce you to go into like premature labor but i'm already 37 weeks so I can start, you can start pumping anytime after 36 weeks. I want to make sure I can bring milk to the hospital because, um, breastfeeding to me is just mad fucking uncomfortable. Like it's just weird to me, not weird, but it's just, it, to me it's more painful. My nipples was getting chapped. My daughter just kept biting my nipples. I was not fucking with it at all. So I just like pumping better. Me personally, I like this brand. This is the Lens, Lencino brand. So this is the actual pump that I use. You can get this um, from Walmart. It's like 25 or 26 bucks. And this is what it actually looks like. It comes with this part, this part, two of these. One is a 25 mm and the other one is a 30. So it basically goes like obviously right here and you measure it based on your areola, not your nipples. So the dark part of your actual like boob type shit. And then it has like a cap that you can put on top of the actual this part and it gives you a couple of free samples so it gives you two storage pads storage bags and it gives you nipple pads but i got more of that shit anyways and then it also comes with an actual like bottle top so that if you're pumping on the go and you just want to be able to give your baby's milk as soon as you finish pumping it does come with its own nipple and its own bottle cap so you can use it as a bottle as well i have their balm for it but m my daughter was like messing with my stuff in my drawer down here so i honestly don't know where she put it but if you don't have that you can honestly just use coconut oil to be able to like lubricate your areola so that when you're pumping it's not just dry and chapped as well as it's good for after so that your your nipples are not cracking basically and they're not really really dry I got a pack of, which I showed y'all the other day when I had went to Walmart with my mama, but she had got me some storage bags and these are 25 of them. I believe this was like $5 and then I think the 50 pack is like eight and then like the 100 pack is like maybe $12. So they're really, really inexpensive. And then shout out to my best friend. She got me a 100 pack of these stay dry nursing pads. Basically, like as you can see right here, you take the back part, you take off this little tab, you stick it inside of your bra or your shirt and then this part right here is going to be where your nipple is so that if you're leaking it would catch it to the pad instead of it leaking through your shirt i'm not using these yet because though i'm pumping my boobs aren't leaking because i haven't produced like my full full milk yet so i'm saving these for when i go to the hospital and stuff like that and after the fact when i like get my full milk in as well as they also make these you're probably like what the fuck are these same brand lencino these are actually gel pads. So if your nipples are clogged or they're really swollen or sensitive, you can put these either in the microwave to heat them up so that if your nipples are clogged, you can place these on here. If it's too hot for you, you can put these little covers over them and it will help your ducts open up so that you're able to get the milk out of your actual nipple. Or you can put these in the fridge or the freezer so that if they're tender or swollen, you can put these as a cooling pad. I fuck with these OD like a lot, a lot, a lot. So for any new moms, I highly, highly recommend because you can definitely get like your starter kit for breast pumping for, I would say around probably like 
70 to 100 dollars depending on how big of packs you want to start with these but because i just finished pumping i have two ounces right now and i just pumped this morning i've only been pumping like once or twice a day for i think the past three days so with these bags all it is is that it comes in like a thing like this you just take one of these out and as you can see right here it has a little label i don't fill in all of them i only put in the date and then the volume so i just keep a sharpie marker in my little drawer right here and i just put the date today's date is the 24th so september 24th and then i just put two ounces you want to use the oldest milk first and the newest milk last of course but i stack mine the opposite way but i always grab my milk from the bottom but i'll show y'all like how i put it in my freezer and i just put it in like that you take off this little tab right here and you open it like so like that just screw this part off and you want to make sure that you're cleaning this after every use because breast milk is just like regular milk if you let it sit in that um container it's going to get spoiled so just put it in like this You're gonna take out as much air as you can from the bottom of it and it does have a double seal which i really really like and what you're gonna do when you put them in the freezer well matter of fact let me go into the kitchen and i'm gonna show y'all how to store them okay boom we're in the kitchen with this bag right here so this is my little container i got these from amazon they're the ones that have like the lid on top and stuff like that i have like a shit ton of these but as you can see i have them just frozen like that so yeah this one was this was my first time pumping this was one ounce and my second time pumping this was 1.5 so you want to lay them flat while you're freezing them so that i honestly i really don't know the reason but that's just what it says on there when you're like on here I don't know if you can see that, but it says for you to freeze them flat. I guess it's just better for the actual storage and it's not taking up a lot of space. So I just stack these right on top of each other and I'm just going to lay this flat just like that. You can't see it because it's... But yeah, I just lay them flat on top like that, as you can see. And I just stick these in the freezer. So from what I've done on my research and from what I remember when I had cocoa um room temperature breast milk can last up to four hours in the fridge it's four days if you freeze them it's four to six months and if you deep freeze them it's if i'm not mistaken four to ten months oh four to ten months so yeah um basically i don't really have nothing crazy planned today i'm just gonna fold all the laundry that i have behind me and stuff like that i gotta do some dishes and like i really want to mop my floors because i have the house to myself today um, my mom has Coco and Echo's at work. So tomorrow we have our doctor's appointment. So because he doesn't come home until like 8 o'clock because he does 12-hour shifts, I'll be able to have the whole day to just like take a nap if I want to and just to be able to clean the house without nobody stepping on these goddamn floors. So I'll check in with y'all later, most likely when I'm packing um, Yaya's baby bag. And then I'm going to do a separate video of um, what I'm packing in my hospital bag. So, yeah. Okay, hey, y'all. I'm about to start packing, well, I already have the stuff laid out, but I'm about to pack Yaya's baby bag. Like I said, I'm going to do a whole separate video on what I'm packing in my hospital bag because I feel like for the mom, it's a lot more in intensive than for the baby's bag because you have all your like postpartum stuff that you need to put in there as well. But this is the bag I'm going to use for Yaya. I got this from, my mama got this for me from Walmart when I had um Coco, so it's been lasting me this whole time and i really really like it i do have another one as well but it's at her house so i'm just going to use the one that i have and i don't really need that much space for all the stuff that i'm going to put in here so this is going to be perfect but yeah it has this little these two little compartments in the inside it has two side pockets and it has a pouch right here which i really really like first things first that i'm going to end up putting in here is her little blanket so i have this one right here um my sister-in-law so echo's sister actually like hand knitted this and it's like the perfect little size for her so I want to make sure I have a blanket in there because I know that they give you a blanket like when they're born. But just because of the fact that we like to keep the AC on in the car and stuff like that, it's still hot down here in Florida. So it's I want to make sure that she's warm. So I'm going to put her blanket in here. 
next thing I have is her little outfits. So I'm going to take three in total. I have this one here. That's a little newborn one because I know they're going to still be really small when they come out. So I have, again, because it's going to be hot, I'm going to have like her jumpers and her little onesie just in case whichever one she feels like wearing basically. So I have this little yellow one that I have paired with some little socks and some little mittens because I know these don't have the cuffs on them. So I want to make sure that she's not going to be scratching her face. So the way I'm going to pack them is just literally like together. So I'm going to put these little mittens together, these little socks together like this. And then I'm just going to roll this up in her little outfit so that I know that this goes together. So I'm going to have that one in there. I have this one that has her little hat. So I'm going to pack two hats. So this is the first hat. It has like Minnie Mouse on it. I love it so much. These are zero to three. So I know they're going to fit her perfectly fine. So I have this little pink one that I'm going to pack in there as well. This is probably the first outfit that she's going to wear when she comes out so that she's not cold with her little hat. Probably like when they change her and give her her first bath, I'll probably put her in the yellow one. And then the last one is the one that I want to have for when we take her home. So I have this one in here. I'm going to put this is going to be her little going home outfit. This is on this is a newborn as well. And this is just like a little Winnie the Pooh one. That was the theme of our like baby shower and stuff like that. So I got this little Winnie Pooh one. And then with these, I am going to put um little mittens with them as well. So I have these yellow ones to match. And I'm going to just tuck in her little outfit. And then I got a little hat that matches. So it's the Winnie the Pooh. So I'm going to have that in there. This is going to be her going home outfit. Because realistically, I packed a lot, like a lot when I had Coco because I was a first time mom, I didn't really know no better. But realistically with her, I was in the hospital for three days because I went in on a Tuesday. I gave birth to her on Wednesday and I got sent home that Thursday with Yaya, especially because I'm getting naturally induced. I don't see myself being there for more than a day. So I don't really need to pack all that much stuff as well as the hospital that I'm going to is within 15 minutes away. So if I really do need anything, Echo can just come back home and pick it up for me and bring it back to the hospital. But as far as her clothes, that's all the stuff that I'm going to bring. I'm also going to be bringing two um, burping cloths. So I have this pink one just to like match the themes. But I have this pink one. And then I have this little Winnie the Pooh one. Oh, the lighting. But yeah, I have this little Winnie the Pooh one that I'm going to put in there. So that's that. As far as everything else, um, I'm going to keep this in... Yeah, well, matter of fact, I'm going to put these in the back of that. So the other things that I'm going to be bringing with me is a little, like, uh, care kit. So it has, like, her little brushes in there. Just in case her nails are a little bit overgrown, I'll just cut them and stuff like that. But I'm really just bringing it for these, which is, like, her hairbrush and her little comb. So I'm going to put this in the little pocket that's inside here. And then, yeah, stick that in there. And then as well as I'm bringing two little bobos and I love that I already boiled these but I love that they have a little case for them but one just says dreams on it and the other one just says happy on it. I know that they give you uh, bobos when you go to the hospital but Coco was very particular about what she wanted so I just want to bring extra ones just in case she doesn't like the ones that they give me at the hospital. So I'm going to put this one in the other little pouch that's in there. As well as I am going to bring some A&D just in case if little mama is a little sensitive down there by any chance. I'll have this just in case. So I'm going to put that in this back part as well. This part is basically already covered up so I'm just going to close this. My breastfeeding stuff will be going in my bag so I don't have to worry about that. The last thing I'm going to end up putting in there is some bottles. These are the parents choice ones if I'm not mistaken. I get these from Walmart. I'm going to bring three of them. And I'm just going to stick them in this part of the bag right here. Um, I am sticking with the small bottles, of course, at first because they're really only drinking two to four ounces within the first couple of weeks. And then you can gradually start using the big bottles, which I have. But I've already uh, cleaned these and boiled them to sanitize them. The rest of the bottles, I still have to clean and sanitize them as well just to be able to keep on my dish rack. But yeah, so this is all the stuff that I'm going to be bringing for her. So that is her bag packed. So that's another thing off the baby list as far as preparing for her. 
I still have like one to two things that I still have to do, but at least for this week's video, I've been filming since last Wednesday and tomorrow's Wednesday. So I'm gonna start a whole new video tomorrow. I still have to open up like her stroller and we have to put up um, her car seat in the car. And I need to open up like her baby monitor and stuff like that. But like I said, it's really just the last couple of things that I have to do. So I'll start that in my other video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me prep and clean for baby's arrival. And of course, I'll keep updating about what's going on. I really do. I really have enjoyed filming these past like couple of videos and just being able to document like what I'm doing for her because I didn't do this with Coco. I wish I did. But we live and we learn and we're getting better as people and as, as parents. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to see more content. And I'll see y'all next time.